I'm Sean and today we're going to be working uh, with green screens in Adobe Premiere Pro 2.0. So I already probably have a project created so I'm just going to he go ahead and open it up. And today we're going to learn how to take uh, two videos and interweave them so it, make it look, makes it look like one. Like what you'll see in like the movie 300 as the whole thing is done in front of blue screens and green screens. And you're going to find your effects under that we're going to be using today under keying. Right here, they're all going to be underneath keying. We'll use the green screen key right there. So, we're going to go ahead and import a video. Uh, I'm going to use uh, Forest, which is the same video I've used before in one of my uh, videos. And we're going to go ahead and unlink, and we're just going to delete the uh, audio for right now because we're not going to use it. And as you can see, it's just a simple uh, forest panning. Screen pans around the forest like so. It's not real tough of a video. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and import a video, an animation that I've made in a program called uh, Particle Illusion. It's a fairly cheap program. It has a bunch of uh, pre-made animations for you. As you can see up in the corner, it's just a small little uh, animation. So we're going to go ahead and drag this down to about right there. Maybe move it over a little bit. As you can see, it's a uh, an explosion and there's already a green screen around it. I've created the back of the screen so it's green. And uh, we're going to go ahead and adjust the scale. Move it to where we want it. Okay. So, to do this, you can uh, go ahead and select your green screen and drag it over to explosion. Now, as you can see, most of the green is gone. You can still see a little black. And that's where this threshold, cutoff, and smoothing options come in. You go ahead and you adjust these until uh, you can see most of the image and uh, no green at all. So you have it like that there. So, And now as you can see the explosion is over the top of our video and it's embedded in the video. But of course it moves with the camera screen. So we need to fix that. Explosion starts here. So we're going to use these uh, toggle animation buttons up here in the top under video effects under motion. I'm going to go ahead and click it and uh, drag to the end of the segment here. And then we're just going to change the position. Like so, just drag the video over so it moves with the video. So we have our explosion. And it uh, stays pretty much in the same place. It moves a little different, but uh, you gotta uh, do some fine tuning. Move these around to wherever you want them. Move faster, move slower. Like so. Uh, a lot of animations you'll do would probably be in front of a picture or a backdrop or something. So there won't be a whole lot of moving of the camera like there is in this video. So you won't have to worry about these too much, but. Uh, that's how it's done if you do have a moving image. And so now you can see you have uh, your explosion over the top of your uh, forest video. And the same concept applies for blue screens. Sometimes you will have to use blue screens, such as if you have a uh, greenish tint, special effects, or you're wearing something green. And you'll have to do it in front of a blue screen. Blue screen is done the same way. It's dragged over and you change your threshold and cut off. And turn your smoothing on to high. It makes it look a little smoother. Stuff like that. Turn your smoothing off. Make some of the green go away. Low. You know, it's just different effects. Just mess around with it. Sometimes you have to change it really precise, like into the digits here, to get it work depending on the color of your screen a darker room will re require a lot more precision and a lot more uh, uh, editing here to get it to all the green to go away so whatever works best fine there for this animation 57 by 57 works pretty well most of the green is gone and in fast animations you won't notice the green especially after it's been rendered so and then you can add smoke effects to it in the same way. So, well, that's uh, the green screen 
and how you use it. So thanks for watching.